Hi, so uh, as we are entering into a school break, I went ahead and created a social story. And social stories usually help with transitions, unexpected changes. Um, it's a good way of just preparing uh, your child and um, for the unexpected or for something new that's going to happen. So I created a social story about a school break and uh, I'm going to read it and you know you can always make one at home you can illustrate it but it's a simple story um, that is created in the first person okay so let's get started my school break okay. I will be out of school for some time I will spend time with my family, work on fun projects, and read and have lots of fun. When I am on school break, I will not go to school. When I am on school break, I will do some fun activities that my teachers made for me. When I am at home, I will read with my family. Oh, look at them. He's reading so well. Look, he's sitting there and he's studying the book. Looks like a good book, yeah. When I am at home, I will practice washing my hands. Oh yes, have to wash our hands, have to stay healthy. Look at that, he's got the water on and he's rubbing his hands. When, I am, when school break is over, my family will talk to me about it. And your family will let you know, oh, school break is all done. When I go back to school, I will see my school, my friends, and teachers. There's our building, that's our school, that's the front of our school. Every day when we get off the bus or when we walk into school, you might see that building. I will have a great school break with my family and I will be happy to go back to school and see all of my friends and my teachers. When it's time to go back to school, we have to remember to go to bed on time, brush our teeth in the morning, get dressed, and then we'll probably get on the school bus or in our cars. And then it'll be time to come back to school. All right, friends, I can't wait to see you all. See you soon. Bye.